Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today, topic is electroporation. This is just an overview. Electroporation. Electro means electricity. Poration means formation of pores in the surface. Electroporation is a microbiology technique that forms pores in the cell surface in the presence of electric field. You can see in this picture, when cell is placed in electric field, pores are formed in the cell surface. Why electroporation is required? Electroporation is used to introduce drugs, chemicals and nucleic acid into the cell. It is very useful procedure when cell transformation is needed. And now, how electroporation is work? To understand this, watch this video here. We have a bacterial cell which also possesses a cell membrane. When we keep this cell in electric field or apply some uh, voltage over it, which is generally very low in amount, around 100 volt, what happens is in the presence of electricity, phospholipid of the cell membrane realign themselves and creates the gap or pore. You can see this in pictures given right side of the slide also, how the gaps are created. Gap size is around 2 nanometer to a maximum of several nanometers. See here the pores are formed or gaps are formed. Once the gap is created, we can easily insert nucleic acid, drug or any other chemical inside the cell because the channels or pores are formed. So they can easily pass through via pores. See, these are the molecules. It can be any DNA, drug or any chemical. These are the pores, phospholipid mo mo molecules are realigning themselves. And once the gap is created, molecules can enter inside the cell. And once they enter inside the cell, after some time, pores reseal themselves. So this is how electroporation is done. It is very a very delicate process. Electroporation is also known as electropermeabilization or electrotransfer as it increases the cell permeability and helps to transfer different materials inside the cell. The procedure is widely used in biotechnology in experiments that require cell transformation, medicine industry, treatment for cancer, heart disease and other diseases that require removal of tissue and drug discovery, food industry for the preservation of the natural quality, color and vitamin composition of food products. Things required for electroporation are buffer to make suspension of the cell, materials to be transferred, glass or plastic cuvette used to fill cell suspension, electroporator the device in which electroporation is performed. Though electroporation is a very useful technique but there are some limitations also. Cells may die if electroporation is not done properly. It can affect the other set of genes present in the cell. So this was all about electroporation. Remember this was just an overview. Thank you for watching.